Hey guys, I am Kyle and in today's video, I am going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can make your portfolio in Behance. Alright, so now here we are on Behance and now we'll be creating some good portfolio right here for our account on Behance. So the number one tip that I can give you to create a really good portfolio right here on Behance is that you will observe other people's work. So you can observe the best of the best right here on Behance on how they do their portfolio. You can observe uh, how they do it the details and so on and you can even take inspiration from their design and so on but the thing to note here is that we're not going to be copying it like 100 percent or the majority of it we're just taking some inspirations and some details that we would like to incorporate into our uh, portfolio in behance because in this way you would know what behance would need in order for you to rank and you would have more uh, brains into your portfolios or your, into your project you're not just incorporating your knowledge into your project but also other people so this is a really good method on how you can make a good portfolio here on behance i know it's pretty basic but it is really effective so the first thing that we're going to do in order to achieve that is we're going to go into our search bar and from here let's say we are a graphic designer so we're going to go for graphic design templates or maybe a portfolio right here so we can see the portfolio of graphic designers right here and then from here you can see a lot of really good portfolios right here but what we want to do is we want to only look at the best portfolios right here so in that way we can click here on sort we can use the sortation feature on the behance and then from here we can click on maybe we can go for most appreciated right here and we can see the portfolios with the most appreciations or the most reactions right here with the comments with the passive reviews and so on and you can also go for the most viewed if you would want views into your portfolio then you can go here and then you can go for the most discussed if you would want to be a hot topic on the portfolio uh, world right here so you can also do that so in this tutorial we'll just be going with the most viewed one so we're going to click on this one and by the way, you can go for time right here. It is also important that you always you sort it to time because you might be uh, looking at a portfolio that is most viewed, but it is already outdated. I mean, it's good at that back in time, but for now it might not be uh, just as good. So this is also another important thing that you can set here. So you can go and see the most updated, good or excellent portfolios that you can find here on Behance. So you can go for this month or this week. I recommend this month right here. I think this is a very good range to uh, hunt portfolios that is really, really good. So from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some inspirations. So I think I'm just gonna go with um, this one right here. So we're gonna go click on this one right here. So this is just an example right here. As you can see, this is how the portfolio would look like and they have some statues right here with the Greeks, uh, like a Greek style. So you can have this and you have your branding and so on. The, 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 the font right here is really, really good. I think it is very unique and so on. So yeah, you can take inspiration from something like this. And then you can, if you are not satisfied, then of course you can always go for more. So let's say we can also view this portfolio. And then from here, as you can see, there is and some animations right here. You can also do that. And we'll be discussing on how you can do that later on in this video. And from here, as we scroll down, as you can see, we have it right here. And so on, we have some animations just like that. It is really, really cool. So you can also do that right here. And I think this portfolio is superb. This is amazing right here. So kudos to this creator. And yeah, that is basically it for this one. So now once you have enough inspirations, like maybe you felt that you have enough observations on your competition right here. And now we can proceed into creating our portfolio. So in this case, in this tutorial, I have used Canva, but of course in your case, uh, you can use anything you want. So you feel free to use Photoshop. You can feel free to even uh, use PowerPoint if you would like that. And yeah, in my case, I'll just use Canva right here because this is the easiest way to make one. 
And now from especially if you are not a graphic designer and you're not really good at designs, then I really recommend Canva for your starting point in creating your own portfolio. So from here, I created this one. So I'm not really going to dive deep into the functions of Canva right here. The only thing that I can tell you is that you can find some really interesting templates right here. So you can go port for portfolio in your Canva. And then from here, you can see a lot of templates right here for your for your portfolios right here and then yeah you can have it just like this one and then the next thing is that i'm gonna show you a really cool uh, feature of canva so this is here and um in the magic media right here so you can click here in the magic media and then from here you can just type on uh, text right here and it would now be produced to image so this is basically an ai from uh a text to image AI right here. So I can just go and create just like this one right here. Uh, maybe a face, a statue, face of a brick. Uh, then I would want it to be with a uh, very serious face. Maybe I can do that. And then from here, I can go for the style. So for this one, I chose a filmic. And then I want to go for a portrait aspect ratio, and we're going to generate the image right here. And with that, we will now wait for it to load right here. And don't worry, it will not take a long time right here. It will just. And now load. here we are. It is now finished. And as you can see, we now have these faces right here of a Greek. So as you can see, we can move it right here. We can drag it just like this one right here, or you can just do it like this one. And as you can see, we now have it just like this, but I don't want this one because the face is not cropped. It's cropped, I mean, I wanna click on this one because we can see some backgrounds right here and so on. And then from here, we can right click and we're gonna go layer and we're gonna go send it to the front so that it won't be uh, getting behind the text right here. So from here, what I did in this one right here is that I removed the background. So to do that, you need to go into edit, edit photo when selecting your photo and click on background remover. And then from here, you will now be able to remove the background right here with just some easy steps and we just wait for it. And then as you can see, it has now been removed and now you can place this into your portfolio however you want. So that is another method on how you can design your uh, your portfolio right here on uh, Canva. So yeah, and I'm not gonna be discussing on how you can do these designs and so on. Then you can just watch my Canva videos right here so that you would know how to use Canva in order for you to design your projects right here. So if you're interested in that, you can check my YouTube channel and you can view more uh, videos right here. And now we have this and yeah, that is basically it for this one. I will just be gonna deleting this and I already made this portfolio. This is just a sample right here. As you can see, I didn't put some samples of my work right here. It's just so that we can be quick with this tutorial, I just go and put some titles and so on right here. But of course, in your case, you can do it just like the guys right here that did this. They had some samples of their uh, port of their self right here. They have some details about their self. They have some samples of their work right here. So you can also do that in Canva. But for the sake of the tutorial, I just did this simple thing right here. And all I have to do now is download it so that I can export it into my Behance and I can create my portfolio right there by clicking on download. So now let's go back into Behance and now let's finally create our portfolio. So to do that, we need to click here on share your work and then from, or you could just hover by the way, and you can see the project, your service or work in progress, or you can live stream right here on Behance. So live stream is a really great way to showcasing your skills right here on Behance. And from here, you can see that the person really is skillful at the art, that he is not just an imposter that is using someone else's project because you can see that person live streaming his skills and how he, he does his work right here. So you can also do that strategy right here. But in this case, we'll just be going for a project right here, just simple one. And then from here, we're gonna go in creating our portfolio. We have a lot of our options right here. So we have the image. So this one is what we will be using since we have an image right here in Canva. So you can also do this, but if you want the animated one, just like you have uh, 
you have seen earlier in the portfolio that we have viewed then you can go for the video right here and so on and you have so much other options right here but for this tutorial we're just going to be sticking with the image right here so yeah you have different ways in importing the image right here you can click on this image icon and you can browse to your local storage or you can just simply drag your photos right here into your screen or into the Behance right here and we can just uh, drop this right here and now it would automatically be imported and then the next one right here we're gonna drag all of the photos right here and right there and this one right here so now just like that we now have successfully added to an image to our portfolio right here and this is how it looks like right here so yeah this is basically it right here on how you can add an image but just like I said, you can always add a text, some more photo grids, videos, or audios right here into your portfolio. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to go here with the image right here. And then once you're done, you can click on continue so that you can view. You can click on continue right here. And then as you can see, you would need to name your project title right here. So let's say a sample tutorial for portfolios right there. And then you can go for project tags if you would want to. So this is also important for the filtering of your portfolios. So you can go for text, uh, you can go for photography, or uh, let's say we use Adobe Illustrator. So you can also go for Canva and so on right there. You can go for your project tags up to 10. And then the tools you use, this is very important so that other people would know what tools you are using for this one right here. So let's go for illustration. We can, be, we can go for, uh, graphic design just like that and maybe we can go for interaction design just like that and then once you are done with everything right here you can now proceed to the Behance visibility make sure that this, this is set to everyone so that everyone can see your portfolio or if you want to set this as a private yet and you're not ready to make this uh, public then you can click on private and you also have this option in case this project contains adult content you can check this right here but this one doesn't so I'm just gonna go click here and publish when you are ready to publish or you can just save this as a draft if you're not yet ready so i'm gonna click on publish right here so that we can test it out later on right here and by the way i forgot to mention is that you can test your project right here so let's just go back right here and as you can see right here we can click here on view a preview and then from here you can preview your portfolio before publishing it right here so yeah you can do that and then now let's go back and let's go into our behance profile right here by clicking it right here and go into behance profile right there and then we can see our portfolio right here so i already i also made one before just for the sake of uh, testing this right here so as you can see we cannot see our portfolio right here and when we view our portfolio it would now look like this one just like we have uh, created in the behance builder of portfolio so that is basically it on this beginner tutorial i hope this video helped you out thank you for watching